And as you guys can see, the two that died in this boat have already dropped a skull. Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today in this Minecraft video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Wither Skeleton Skulls 100% of the time. Now this will work for iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox and Nintendo Switch. It's working in all the 1.12 versions, all the 1.13 versions and even the 1.14 betas. Now, this is a bug slash glitch. I do expect this to be patched at some time. However, this is a bug slash glitch that works in the player's uh, favor. So we've had past bugs that were against us. Do you guys remember the Blaze mob when that was our one hit kill, even if you have had maxed out diamond armor? So I thought I would share this with you. I don't take credit for this. I think Silent Whisper made a video on it, so credit to him. I also seen it on Reddit, but the shout out has to go to my uh, Twitch community who were telling me about it when I was trying to obtain skulls the other day in uh, my Minecraft survival world. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun with this. Now, take full advantage of this. If you're watching this video and you wanna grind out skulls, again, go and grind them out. I don't expect it to be patched anytime soon because as you guys know updates can take quite some time so i went over to the bug tracker and i, I searched for it if a charge creeper explodes a stray he will drop the wither skeleton skull now this one was posted on in july it's not been patched for a very long time however this one was updated uh six days ago now i'm not entirely sure if that's the person who submitted this has updated it six days ago, or Minecraft and Microsoft seen this six days ago and were like, okay, we need to fix this. So basically, you don't even have to enter into the nether, right? Let's go into the game. Let's go through some very, very basic things. And let me show you exactly how this works. So let's just go through some very, very basic details to do with the Wither Skeleton in general. So Wither Skulls have a 2.5% chance of dropping. That's by default. That's why it can take you an incredibly long time to obtain them. Now, you have an extra 1% every level of looting, which is a max level of 55%. So 2.5, looting 1, 3.5, looting 2, 4.5, looting 3. It's going to be 5.5. That's it. There's no other way of obtaining it, it's all down to luck. It doesn't matter if you jump three times on the spot, if you have a little bit of a ritual, it's not going to make the drop any faster or any better. It's gonna be a max of 5.5% chance, which is why it can take one hour, two hours, even longer if you're trying to do this. So um, as you guys know, this is the evil with a skeleton. Now, as you guys can see here, we have looting three. Now, looting three is 5.5% chance. Now I put smite on this. I mean, a lot of people go to the, the nether with sharpness. Just to inform you guys, in case you don't know, Smite is for the undead. The Wither Skeletons are classed as undead. So if I go to forward slash game mode S, you'll see that I have no form of potions on, no form of armor on. If we hit this, it's a one hit. 100% of the time, killing it with Smite plus looting is going to be a one hit. That is a tip that I recommend keeping into consideration in case you don't know it when going to the nether. Um, but with this trick, it's to do with creepers, it's to do with charge creepers, it's to do with strays. Now, like I said, I expect this to be patched at some point. However, there is another method for the bedrock community on how to obtain this, which will never, ever, ever be patched. So a couple of things that we need to go through with this is, of course, the things that you are going to need. You are going to need a trident. You're going to need channeling. So in case you guys don't know what the channeling uh, trident is all about, whenever it's uh, thunder slash lightning, channeling makes you Thor because you can summon lightning. Now, obviously, charge creepers were a very, very rare occurrence in Minecraft a long time ago. You can now purposely get charge creepers if you would like to. This is also to do with, not necessarily boats, but I'm using a boat with this, and also to do with strays, okay? So whenever a charge creeper blows up a stray, it has a 100% drop rate to drop a skull, especially if you have like six or seven or eight of these guys. That is how you obtain skulls in Minecraft. Now it's not just for strays, because if you have a, a charge creeper, that blows up a skeleton, that blows up another creeper, that blows up a zombie, they will drop their heads, they will drop their skulls. That is how that works 
in Minecraft. Right, we need to set the thunder. We're gonna have to set this guy alight, and then we'll go through the next step. So as you can obviously see, it's thunder and lightning. Now if we were to just throw this at, let's just do a little bit of a test here. We'll do a pig. Sorry, Mr. Piggy. We're gonna turn this into a zombie pigman. If we do this near a pig, come on. There you go. The pig turns into a zombie pigman. Now, if we throw this in or near this charge, this creeper, he's going to turn into a charged creeper. Now, I'm going to get rid of the weather, and I just want to mention a couple of things with this. So, this is my little setup. Now, you guys can come up with a more advanced way to do this. If you guys don't know, if a creeper or TNT or something explodes in water, you don't necessarily take large amounts of damage. If you're doing this, do this nowhere near your base because it will cause a lot of explosions. Obviously, the way to obtain strays is in the snowy biomes. That is where you will find that mob. Um, boats are the best way to do this because they're stuck in a boat, and the best way to do this is during nighttime because these things will actually burn during the uh, the daytime. This can be a little bit of a pain because you're technically on a time scale. Obviously, it's 10 minutes day, 10 minutes, at 10 minutes night. So what we need to do here is I'm just gonna put a couple of these inside of here. So we do, in fact, it needs to be night time, forward slash time, set, night. We're gonna kill you and we'll start again. There we go. Right, so let's put these inside of here. Obviously, two to a boat. Um, there's a another little strategy to this as well, which I will teach you in a little bit. The reason why I've done that, guys, is because I am gonna go into survival. I am gonna get this to blow me up. It is more than likely gonna kill me. And if you don't have water around you and you're not gonna be doing this in water, then just leave your good stuff at home. That's probably the best way to explain it. Right, let's change our game mode to survival. Forward slash game mode S. It's nighttime. This dude is going to blow me up. He's going to blow up everything else as well. The only problem with this is we don't want him to kill the charged creeper. That's where things can be a little bit of a problem. You need to figure out a system where these skeletons are not going to shoot you or shoot the charged creeper. This is just the simple way that I'm doing it in today's video. I'm going to go back to game mode C real quick. And I'm going to stand right here. He, he shouldn't be able to hit me. They shouldn't be able to hit me. And if we change our game mode to survival, this guy's going to blow up. And he's also going to blow up the skeletons as well. And as you guys can see, the two that died in this boat have already dropped a skull. So let's go back and I'll show you guys. And I'm not going to skip anything here. I'm just going to change my game mode to, to C. The skeletons that were killed dropped skulls. So four of them were killed, I believe. Maybe five of them. We have a total of four skulls. So it looks like one of them, that's it. Just one of them didn't. Usually they all do. Trust me to record this video and it doesn't necessarily work. So that's the way it works. Now, you might need a couple of friends to do this. However, you don't even have to go to the nether, guys. You could just figure out a better system to farm these guys. And we've got four skulls without even entering the nether. You're more than likely going to go to the nether anyway because you're going to want to obtain uh, blazes. You're going to want to have potions and stuff like that. So we do the forward slash time set day. There is one other method that I'm going to show you, but this also can take a little bit of time as well. Um, I just want to show you guys the mechanism that I used, and I've used this for quite some time. I just want to get rid of him before he tries to kill me. Come on, let's get rid of you. All right, so I'm just going to grab a couple of blocks and show you how this works. So I use this design in my survival world. Now, all it is is pressure plate in the middle, which is going to be where the creeper's going to stand on. Uh, you're going to have pistons in all four directions like this. So basically, whenever he walks over this, he's going to get stuck. Now, in terms of doing it above you, one, two, three, you can use either one of these. Because, of course, if I go inside of here, I can't get out. It's going to be the same for the creeper as well. Um, and obviously, you need to guide the creeper to walk across it. And I'll show you guys exactly how this works. So if we put a creeper there and we change our game mode to survival, this creeper should walk straight into it. The reason why I know this works, guys, is because I used to use this system for getting the music discs. Basically, I would put a skeleton in the middle, and all around the outside, I would have uh, creepers. So the skeleton could shoot the creeper, and I could get all the music discs. So let's go into the other method that I'm talking about, because there is another way you can do this in case that does get patched, which at some point in the near future, it more than likely will. So of course, you're going to need yourself a portal, I recommend making this bigger. You're more than likely going to have to link it up at some point anyway to make this a little bit easier for yourself. 
So obviously when you're inside of here, um, I made sure, that was very, very laggy there. I made sure that I had a um, fortress quite close to me. And I set up another portal here as well. So something that's really useful on this version is that, of course, you can put wither skeletons inside of boats. But the best thing about this is that you are able to leash boats on the bedrock version, which means you are able to drag the skeletons wherever you want. You can drag them to, to through the portals. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because you can drag them through to the overworld, still have a charged creeper. These guys are in a boat, have them explode, and you're still going to get the skulls as well. So I'm just going to grab myself some enchanted gone apples here, and we're going to go to survival. Because I'm going to hopefully not get myself killed here. Of course, of course. We need to get rid of you real quick. Come on. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, so just because we're in survival, I want to show you guys that you can just drag these guys through. It might take a little bit of time. Go on. You're not, you're not going through. They should go through. Let's go. You're not taking me through. I think we've gone through. The only problem with this is that in this instance, we are stuck in a cave with this guy. Now, if that doesn't work, the other way you could do it is simply break this and have them go through the portal. And on the other side, place down your boats. Once they're in the boats, you can leash them. So I just thought I could share with you a little bit of a tutorial, a bit of a guide. I don't know. It's not fun if only a select amount of people know the bugs and know the issues because that means they're benefiting from it. And everybody else is suffering while being in here trying to kill the monsters. So if this does help you out, let me know. If you knew about this already, let me know. I'm pretty new to this. But guys, go and take advantage of the strays until you have to deal with this situation. Take care, stay beautiful. And of course, catch you next time. Bye.